Hello everyone, we are the fifth group and I'm Robin. I'm Ellie. I'm Linda. I'm Brian. I'm Vicky. I'm Sharon. I'm Sony. And now we are going to report the impact of the cultural difference in living habits on Indonesian students studying Taiwan. We divide the report into six parts. Introduction, literature review, methodology, results, conclusions, suggestions, and limitations. First is introduction about background and motivation. Recently, the world has become focused on globalization and education because of the promotion of new South Bound policy. So more and more Southeast Asia students choose to study in Taiwan, especially Indonesian students. The purpose of the research was to study the difference in the lives of Indonesian students studying in Taiwan. So as to help them solve their problems and achieve the purpose of cultural exchange in this research process. Our research questions are divided into four broad categories. Diet, religion, weather, and education. Next is literature review. Recently, many people, in order to improve their knowledge or to expand their horizons, they choose to study overseas. Every country's lifestyle is different, so the student who is studying in unfamiliar environments needs to face a lot of problems. We can classify the problems in six main items. Communications, local culture, eating habits. Education methods, religious beliefs, and climates. These are all about our daily, so they have to learn and adapt those problems. According to the information we found, there are three main reasons attracted Southeast Asian students come studying in Taiwan. First, compared with most Southeast Asian countries, Taiwan has higher degree of economic development, so we have lower crime rates and safer living environments. Secondly, Taiwan has cheaper tuition, and Taiwan University provides scholarships and some Chinese language courses. Lastly, because of the small population and a high degree of urbanization, our living function is convenient. Methodology. Methodology. Participants. The main participants of our research include 42 Indonesian students who study in Taiwan's college. And questionnaire. We use Google Docs to set up an online questionnaire and present it by a lecture seal. And it divided four categories and five questions in each part. And the questionnaire have the basic personal information question. And the interview, we also choose our interview to be our instrument. The interview question have the adaption problems and which part of life in Taiwan they have to accept. We mainly choose our interviewee in Taichung, and the interview process exhausts in one-on-one -on -one or one-to-many mode. Data collection and analysis. Most of our data is collected from online, which plays on social media like, like group, Facebook, Instagram, and other message sharing. We use this way to get more Indonesian students to fill in. At last, we have about 42 Indonesian students fill out. Next is our research results. According to our research questionnaire, we found that most of the Indonesian students study in Taiwan, agree that Taiwanese government or colleges offer high scholarships and lower thresholds than other countries, including Indonesia. Moreover, the questionnaire shows that most of the Indonesian students who fill out this questionnaire think the choices of the departments or colleges in Taiwan are more than those in Indonesia. On religion side, most of the Indonesian students think that Taiwanese people can accommodate and respect their religious beliefs. In addition, more than half of them are willing to participate in Taiwanese traditional folk activities, such as Dajia Mazu pilgrimage and Lehigh Firework Festival. We have analyzed the results of the interviews with 13 Indonesian students. The greatest motivation for them is to improve language skills. But on the other hand, the language barrier is also an inconvenient factor and disadvantage. 
some of them feel freer to have a conversation with the teachers, <laughs> with their teachers in Taiwan about cuisines. Taiwanese food is blender and more tasteless. West sorting and its with chopsticks are influences land in a positive way. Part-time job opportunities and scholarships are advantages of studying abroad. Most participants are Catholic, Christian, or Muslims. They have many special activities, but Taiwan is more tolerant of land than other countries. Finally, in terms of climates, Taiwan has four distinct seasons. Winter is colder than their hometown, where it's a tropical country. According to the questionnaires and interviews, analysis of conclusions, we can find that most of Indonesian students at university in central Taiwan agree Taiwanese governments or colleges offer higher scholarships and lower ratios than other countries. This is an attractive policy of Taiwan. The transportation is convenient. They can take public transportation to wherever they want to go. The security is great and in the environment is friendly. These advantages make them feel at ease in Taiwan. Actually, Taiwanese have a good habit of sorting garbage. They told us this is worse than to learning. There are many part-time job opportunities in Taiwan, so they can afford expenses in their lives. Also, Taiwanese are friendly to them. However, most of Indonesian students are less able to that Taiwanese foods are not spicy enough. The climate is hot and humid, and some problems with language communication. Based on our findings, we would like to make some suggestions. First, for Indonesian students who study in Taiwan, they can search the information on the internet so that they can better understand the life in Taiwan. Second, government should put information about Taiwan's universities and add some Q&A areas and puzzles for Indonesian students. It can help them communicate with the experienced students and answer the questions that new students encounter. Third, International Affairs Office of Virus Universities should host different types of international events. On the one hand, it can promote intercultural communication. On the other hand, it can help Indonesian students make more Taiwanese friends. And last is our limitations. Due to the time, distance, and manpower, we only choose the Indonesian students who study in Taichung's universities. For those people who do similar research, we suggest that they can choose the Indonesian students who study in different cities and universities so that the differences will be more significant. And this is our reference. Thanks for listening. Merry Christmas. OK, thank you very much for your presentation. 